coming to you from the Anza Borrego Desert, which is close to the Mexican border near San Diego. It has given me a lot of solace through the years and it's very dear. Just a month ago, I was in the Mamani Valley in Panama. They're connected into a web of life, what I like to call uh, the Tangled Bank. And that's what Darwin called it. Part of this fabric of life unfolding with us in it. Every species is a unique thread within this fabric of life, and we really need them all to make that fabric robust and resilient and stretchy for all the things that life throws at it. We are a thread within that fabric. It's places like this and the Mamani Valley that you really feel that. You know, especially as a human being with this thin skin that's easily burned and all the spiky things that live here, the heat, the sun. It's a difficult place for any species to make a living. Here in Anza Borrego, the Kumeyaay people lived for some 9,000 years. And you can still see, if you go to the areas where their villages were, you can see that the diversity is much greater of plant life and the richness and um, health of the plants is much greater as well. So they really knew how to tend the tangled bank around them for future abundance. They had to do it for their children and their grandchildren. And they planned for future generations of those species they depended on. And together that whole sphere, uh, that whole ecology expanded over time and created more diverse opportunities for the grandchildren of all different species. I'm an anthropologist and an evolutionary biologist, so I've always studied humans as another animal, another species, trying to understand the nature of life, the nature of living things, particularly human nature. They're sometimes bumpy. Yeah, a little bit bumpy. About a third of the world is on lockdown right now, quarantined in their homes, worried. Maybe they're sick. Maybe someone they love is sick. It's a very heavy time. You catch wild bats and pangolins in the forest and you sell them in the marketplace in little cages and people are around you in those packed marketplaces are breathing that air and you're a virus you live through those bats and pangolins you depend on them they don't even get sick from it they have to find a new host and sadly we're it but if you start pulling too many threads your fabric gets holes in it living within a tattered fabric that we haven't taken the time to care for and it can no longer care for us the life is so intricate and connected and rich even though there's no water there's there's so little here but all this diversity is thriving and the same is true in Mamani a uh, hundredfold. And the same is true where you are. You're part of nature and you're thriving and evolving um, when the world around you does. These places are not really wild, they are tended and they have been. is what we need to do again. We are part of these ecologies. We can't just take a thousand year vacation and let it all go to hell. It goes feral uh, and neglected. We have to occupy our niche again. We have to take care of the Tangled Bank so that it will grow and take care of us in return. That's the way that life has done for 3.8 billion years. 
The answers are all around us and the answers are inside us because we are living things. We are part of nature. Human nature is really about cultivating the world around us, diverse opportunities, and creativity, imagination, problem solving, critical thinking, learning skills, mastery, music, art, storytelling, how to give back so it gives back to you. That's what it means to be human. And that's our mission, to be human again and cultivate it and tend it. Bring it back to health so that it can help us and be healthy and thrive. But here's the problem. Most of us have forgotten how. We've forgotten how to help and share and care for each other as well as the species around. Why are we having such a difficult time? And I'll tell you why. It's because our institutions are structured against our human nature. Because we have been working on an efficiency model. Lean Sigma 6, right? Efficiency. That's great when things are static and stable, but in a complex world, in a living world, that's not how it is. Everything is densely interconnected and it's volatile, it's uncertain, complex and ambiguous. It's a VUCA world. But life has been living in that for 3.8 billion years. And not every living thing has gone through five extinction events. We know the answer is in our bones. First thing we need to do is restructure these institutions so they can work with our human nature and leverage it. What does that look like? We've got to work with meaningful purpose, things that matter for the future, for our future generations. We need freedom to work the way we believe is right as individuals. Diversity, diversity, diversity. In diversity of ways that you think things should be done, in diversity of experiments, diversity of perspectives and skills and talents. Human nature is to work with people that you love and trust and care about and that you're willing to help and share with. Is a radical change in worldview. You are part of the living fabric of life. You are part of it. You are part of nature. You are one thread in the fabric. And until we wrap our minds around that and start really living like that day to day, we're going to have this problem. Um, nature is not something outside, out there, something to go to. Go, let's go out to nature. It's in you. It's in each of us. Even biomimicry, mimicking life. As we are life, we are it. We are just as much of a living thing that survived all this time through these extinction events as all these other species around me. They are literally your relations. This plant, that beetle, I share an ancestor with them, but we're literally, all of us, trying our best day after day, evolving in the eye of the storm on the front lines of evolution, unfolding in the tangled bank. And all these threads are growing the blanket that keeps us warm, that keeps us safe and sheltered and provides everything that we depend on. We, this is our planet. There is no way to throw things. At Geoversity, the mission is to renew these threads and the fabric of life, biocultural renewal. Diverse exchange, interconnection, and innovation comes out of that. New things that create new opportunities that life and explodes into. every person 
to join the movement to rehumanize, reclaiming the human niche and remembering how to be human again in your neighborhood and across the world. Tend the life around you so that it will support us in the future. It will support your children and your grandchildren. Stay safe, be well, and remember, be human.